Hi, it's me, Nadine O again, for day five of my journey um, after a vitrectomy surgery on my right eye. I will have to admit this is probably one of the hardest things for me to do as a person whose job has been to um, capture stories told by other people um, from behind the camera or in the edit bay. And yet here I am sharing this journey with you uh, days after um, having some repair done to my, my eye. It's as a person who's used to being busy, um, occupied with projects, editing um, my podcast, sharing other folks' stories, uh, discovering my own voice, this moment right here, um, making these videos about how I feel daily is um, is new. Last night I didn't sleep well. Um, I could finally um, not have to sleep face down, but I couldn't sleep on my back. Uh, and so I was always thinking, I, I don't want to sleep on my back. I don't want to sleep on my back. Uh, so I tried sleeping on my side, which is what I normally do. Um, and that became problematic. Today, uh, being day five, day five, I, I felt like I had cabin fever. And this is post-COVID working four out of the five days at home, um, not around people. And here I was uh, not able to move for some time um, to allow the procedure to set in place. Uh, today I just finished um, applying two drops into my eye. I have to do that every, I have to do this every six hours. Uh, one is uh, polymixin B, and then there's another one called prednisolone. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, which has to be five minutes apart to, um, so you don't wash away the other medication. So I have those two. I, I just finished applying that to my eye. And I was thinking, well, this is a good time to, to make a video and share this moment. A dear friend called me and reminded me that <laughs> I uh, needed to make sure that I was... Um, allowing this time to uh, rest. I dropped my, I dropped, it's okay, I'll get it later. Um, to use this time to reset. And I believe that, you know, things happen for a reason and there's a lesson to be learned in that process. And I'm really open for the lesson because I don't want to repeat it. Um, but a lot can be said about um, the process of resetting, um, regrouping, um, acceptance, um, acceptance of, you know, that you have to be vulnerable and allow other people to help you. Um, 
that that's really tough. Um, I've learned that it is better not to. Um, I've learned that it's better not to expect certain things. When you do what you do, it is without. Um, it's just you do it from your heart, but not with the expectation of receiving anything in return. And um, probably one of the biggest things is for me is to ask for help. And um, this experience, the first thing that it did uh, force me to address is that you you it is okay to ask for help and that's and that's what i discovered about myself that i had to allow myself to be in a position of allowing and um it's a process and i'm still working on it um but i am growing i am growing in that process of allowing um more people to help me, uh, friends and family, um, but more so just the state of allowing, um, allowing love to come in and, and in that process you are loving in return. So today was a, another tough day, but more so from a mental and a spiritual aspect and I think it was worthy of sharing with you today I hope that you get something out of this this message I have for you today that it is okay to ask for help that it is okay to be weak even as a black woman it is okay to be weak um, if you call that weak, I would just say being in a state of allowing and trusting that everything is and will be okay. So I will check back again uh, tomorrow for day six about how I feel <laughs> about life after a vajectomy. Uh, until then, be well, be blessed, may you be surrounded by love from friends, from spirit, from the universe. May there be more abundance in your life and less fear. <laughs>